EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present final round coverage of the 144th Open Championship. Now at the 10th, and Bobby Jones loved this hole, didn't he? And that's why it's been uh, renamed Bobby Jones. Drivable for a lot of the players, uh, but if you're going to have a crack at the screen, avoid the gorse down the left side, as well as the two pot bunkers that are in line with the right side of the screen. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. And not too bad. It's about 23 feet away. It didn't hit the flag stick, but he still has a chance. Frank, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. From about eight feet. Whoa, that was unexplainable. I thought that was easily going to be a par. Now I'll have to focus, try to make bogey. Call in the medics, Frank. Can't stop the bleeding here. Just racking the bogeys up. Frank, what are we looking at here at the famed par 3 11th at the old course? Well, the most difficult, there is only two par 3s here at the old course, and this one's called high, elevated green, and you've got to fly that bunker that protects the front of the green. That's called the Strath Bunker. Uh, you really take anything on this green. You make a two here, you'll make a move on the field. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Frank well off the pace, but the true professionals, they keep digging, trying to get better. Frank, the charm of St. Andrews, the history of the old course, it all sort of comes into view here at the 12th, doesn't it? Yeah, very pretty hole, Eden Estuary to the right. Obviously a, a nice view of the township of St. Andrews in the distance, but uh, long hitters can just lick their chops and have a crack at this green. All they've got to do is worry about that little pot bunker short, but um, either into the breeze, or if you're not a long hitter, you've got to worry about those four bunkers that are well-placed smack bang in the middle of this fairway. Second shot coming out of the rough here. <laughs> Solid play, heart of the green. Even par currently. Frank, how much does that birdie help the cause? Well, it doesn't look like much right now, Rich, just sneaking inside the top 20, but at the end of the day, that might be the one that turned the tide. that one out there but he is not going to like the lie uh, that moved down in the rough shot now from the rough Frank what's he facing well the lie first and foremost if it's sitting down then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green problem is turning one mistake into another Frank not close but from that lie not bad oh that's excellent seriously given the conditions rich Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> a good effort and a good par putt. Frank, you can actually play this 14th hole by taking a detour 
to another hole on the front side. Explain. Yeah, that's the fourth hole. The fourth hole is adjacent to the 14th, and if you're in a little bit of trouble off the tee, there's nothing wrong with playing the 14th as a zigzag style par five. So that means the drive, if it doesn't go down the right, you go further left and then back to the green. But uh, it's a safer way, but a much longer option. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. Just came over that one a bit, enough to tug it to the left, and plenty of work still to go. That was not a very good read right there. And this will be a five foot putt here. Go into the top 15 on the leaderboard with that birdie. A few more, and who knows, maybe top 10 or top 5. That's a good spot right there. Send a cup. Frank, this is just a pleasure to watch. A player hitting on all cylinders at the top of his game. Notice it's just flowing, too. There's not a lot of deep analysis going through his mind. Just one step in front of the other. If your swing's there, you don't have to find it. If your putting stroke's there, you don't have to find it. Just let it happen. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Good strike right there, right off the center of the face and about 20 feet away. Birdie try again here today. How does that not go in? Amazing. Stroke looked good. Uh, line looked good. Just did not take that final break. Settles in over the putt. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Headed for home now, partner. The 16th hole. And what are we looking at here? Well, you have to avoid the principal's nose. Otherwise, you're going to finish up in the principal's office. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Frank, not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Sevi-esque. This is a pretty good performance right here. Six under for the tournament. Now at the 17th tee, and Frank, this is really when you begin to feel the weight and the history of the old course bearing down on you. And you also feel the nerves as well, because you're having to hit it not just at a fairway or over a bush, but over the corner of an out-of-bounds. And uh, you'll see it, there's a little sign up there that says Old Course and Country Club. So you've got to pick the exact letter for the line that you want to hit it across. Hit it down the right side, this hole certainly becomes shorter. Left, you find the left and short, you find the road, the road hole bunker. Uh, a little right and long, and well, there's a chance of going out-of-bounds or on the road itself. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. And he's made it onto the green now. Well, it's that sneaky distance. Well, that was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. So not his best work. 
He'll walk away with a boat. Frankie, stand on the tee here at 18, and history is staring you right in the face. Yeah, you have the Rusex Hotel on the right, the Dumbagan over the back, um, the r &A building. Just standing there, you're, uh, you're reminded of, of how far this great game has come and, uh, and all these hundreds of years, I guess, in the future. And, and where will the game be then? Frank, that's as good as I have seen all day long. Um, I think we've got to blame that on the weather. That weather, the, the wind had to help that ball, give it another 20, 30 yards. Seems to like it. I'm headed for the back part of the green. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Different day, different hole. Made bogey yesterday. He'll do better this time, it looks like. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good putts. This hole is really getting the best of them. The bogey once again continues to roll the ball very well. Frank, it was a great setting with great crowds. We saw plenty of very good golf. Your thoughts? Well, I think the course really extracted some of the, the golf that we saw. It forced these players to play uh, just some great golf. And you know, it wasn't just like a you know, pitch and a putt golf course. So I, I, I think seeing the guys tested, so seeing the players tested at this level, um, it was a treat.